Welcome back to PSC TechBytes. Today I want to explain you how you can use PMP.js in a Node.js application. And it is pretty simple. You simply need to create a Node.js application in a folder. So you will do npm init and you will do tsc dash dash init if you want to use TypeScript. Then you simply need to import some of the packages of PMP.js, like for example, at PMP core, at PMP Node.js, indeed, and at PMPS. And once you've done that, if you want to create the Node.js application as a batch running in a background environment or as a recurring task, you can simply register in Azure Enter ID an application. You have to configure a certificate for authentication in that application. And once you've done that, you can easily consume SharePoint Online via PMPJS. So let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how you can do that in practice. So let's say that we want to consume the list of documents in a document library of a SharePoint online site, like this one, for example. First of all, as I told you, we have to register in Enter ID an application. So let me go there under App Registrations. You will have to click on New Registration and register your application. In my scenario, I've already registered one application right here, which has been configured from a certificate and secret point of view with a certificate for application only access to SharePoint Online. And from an API permissions, I granted the SharePoint site.read.all application permission to my application. Then I have an application, an Node.js application, where we can start from the package.json file to see that here I'm referencing the PMP core, Node.js and SP packages, as well as for the sake of using an environment configuration file, the .env. Then in the index.ts file of my application, I have the import of some of the modules that I need to use. So for example, I'm going to use the read file sync from file system to read the, the uh, private certificate that I want to use for authentication. I will rely on the SP default uh, type provided by at PMP Node.js, as well as on all of the regular types that we use whenever we play with PMP.js uh, in JavaScript and TypeScript. Notice that here that we are in Node.js, we need to do the import of the webs and lists and all of the other namespaces of PMPJS also providing the index.js in the path. Then we simply initialize the environment variables because I have a .n file where I configure the tenant ID, the client ID of my application, the thumbprint of my certificate and where the PFX is located, the target site URL and the target tenant name. So, in my index.ts, first of all, I read the certificate, which has to be stored in a, a XBase64 format. So just to give you an idea, this is the format for my certificate. Then I have to uh, create or to configure the initial settings for MSAL. So this will be the authority I'm targeting with the tenant ID I'm targeting, the client ID, the certificate that I want to use. Then I can create a factory object for the PMPJS SharePoint object and I provide the SharePoint default type, providing the URL of the target site as well as the Microsoft Authentication Library settings that I want to use so that I declare this is the configuration and these are the scopes, the permission scopes that I want to get, which of course for an application only access token will be dot default targeting the specific tenant name in SharePoint Online that I want to consume. Once I've done that, I simply rely on the regular PMPJS syntax. So I can use the fluent syntax and say that in the uh, SharePoint object model, I want to get the current web and I want to select, for example, the ID, title and description of the site. Of course, in case of an exception, I will notify the user in the console. And if not, I will simply write in the console the JSON stringify of the web object that I retrieved. Then in that same web object, I want to access the collection of lists and I want to get the documents uh, list, so the list which will have title equal to documents. I want to get the items and I want for each of the items to select the ID, the title and the file leaf ref, so the uh, actual path of the file in the target site. And then again, for each of them, I write uh, with the stringify of JSON uh, the item in the output. So if we run this application with F5, and we look into what's going on, we can see that we can get the connection through the environment. 
then we read the certificate, we prepare the configuration as I told you, and then we use the factory uh, object for uh, the PMPJS uh, types. And once we have done that, uh, we can run the application, we can get the uh, web object and we can write it in the output. As you can see here, we already have the web object and we can write it in the output of our console application. And then we can do the same to retrieve all of the documents and write them in the output as well. And as such, this will be the application. And here we can see the three items, the file 03, file 04, and file 05 that we had in our uh, target SharePoint size. So here they are. Really simple and straightforward. And by doing that and using PMPJS and Node.js, we can easily create custom tasks, recurring tasks, or background jobs that we can run on Azure using Node.js and PMPJS. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and are looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.